What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to more Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's, oh. <laughs> Let's continue. Looks like it's upside down because Peter wasn't start there. Space Police. Designation, Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Inakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter, Jason, Quill. Really, my middle name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Krell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... Really shady stuff. <laughs> but junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXP-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Oh my god. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. Oh you want to end up in the kiln? Uh, 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 I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, God. Um, the llama. Oh, the airlock. Oh, I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What about the crate? Leave it. We'll handle this. Krell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. I'm just coming off of the, the House of Ashes stream. I've been having chat make all the decisions. <laughs> I was faced with one of my own, and I was like, uh... <laughs> my brain just went blank. Just speak to Century Corral. Silence, prisoner. Commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it. 
That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? <laughs> Damn. I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. Here goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch Damn. The jacket. Cadet Gold. You know I think I need to go. Oh, I keep looking over at OBS, and I feel like the volume's a bit high. You knock it down about 20%. I'll keep an eye on it. The arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh, hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. <gasps> a single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Grand Breaker. Unifier. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Oh, yeah. Mom? Well. Wait. Did she just say no? Just to be no. super clear you on the mom This is bad. 
Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on. If I can fly up... No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. You sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another platform. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Did you hear me? Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me blow out this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Cap Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. Look, is the adult in the room? <laughs> yeah, adult isn't exactly how my mom described you. H how did Corel describe me? Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Where do you think you're going? Okay, wow! That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know... I didn't have a lot of friends at your age, either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So Mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison, too? No, my mom, uh... died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was... Uh, is... A real spitfire. More like real controller. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. I don't know how to feel about this game. Right, right. Just like so far, it feels it like I just in. keep holding forward. But this like, way. I don't hate it. Like the writing so far is pretty good. Quick reminder and they've done a, a good job with the voice acting. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course, I trust you. Clearly. Get back here, pirate. Wow, wow. Okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second.
I usually games like this, this I don't enjoy them as much, but I think it's the really writing. I think they did a good job with the, I may or may not the writing and the voice acting so far. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Ah! Almost. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? Huh? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. <laughs> Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. <laughs> <laughs> Activate. Voice print not authorized. 
just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! <laughs> what? <laughs> She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not... I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? <laughs> Not like <laughs> feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to hold up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Lock down, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Ma! I can make it 30 cycles. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. I got to. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me th three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around oh. your ship and a class 2 biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles. All right.
Well, we are going to wrap things up here. Yeah, this is this is weird for me because like, I mean, the combat's pretty fun, but for the most part, this is like very, you know, push forward and go through it. But like, the writing's like actually really hooking me. I'm just like chilling back in the chair, like this is like a movie night. So, anyway, y'all stay tuned. Uh, we will have more coming your way tomorrow. Probably going to keep this uh, similar to how I did with Far Cry. I'm thinking I'll do like two episodes a day and then three on weekends. So anyway, stay tuned and have more coming your way soon.